Alright, welcome back, bunny friends, to Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair. So we are on the second half of investigation time. Um, we need, um, after Nagito's grizzly demise. Um, so I think we just need to... We're back at the factory and we also need to go to the base, I think. And Nagito's room. I kind of forgot where we need to go, but I saw Sonya. Oh! I've never seen so many Monokumas in my life! Well, Monokuma isn't exactly someone you would normally run into. This one. However, while I was staring at all these Monokumas, a thought occurred to me. I know this, ne? That bomb that went off in the lobby might have been set up here. Huh? If you hide the bomb inside a monokuma plushie, it would make a frightening weapon. Do you not think the group is forcing us to kill each other? Would it devise something like that? Tsugoidus! A plushie bomb is an act of terrorism. I mean, I think any bomb is an act of terrorism, but yes. Let's rip these apart right away so we can confirm it. Hold on! If there's a bomb inside these, wouldn't it explode if we carelessly mess with it? It's all gravy. All gravy? What the hell does that mean? Yeah, oh, man, stop. There's no bomb. I know, no. You know, if you just pick me up, see? All you feel is the soft weight of cotton. <laughs> you are right. This one. Then where did Nokito obtain the bomb he used? Didn't we already establish he got it from the funhouse? I wonder, if I'm gonna give you guys a hint, then you should know it wasn't from the military base. <laughs> to tell you the truth, the bombs there are all fakes. We already figured that out. Uh, I know that already. You should have said so earlier. Well, I thought if I kept quiet, it would foreshadow the killing that was gonna happen. That's why I'm just telling you now for the first time. Woohoo! I feel relieved. But if the bomb wasn't from the military base or this factory, then. He brought it from the octagon. Yeah, where did he put that in his pocket? I must say, you have a good eye there, Sonia. Putting a bomb inside one of my plushies seems like a splendid idea. Let's try it. So not. Did I say something I should not have said? It's not your fault, don't worry about it. Beep, beep, beep. Oh, that really, I can't remember what that was. That reminds me, when we saw Nagito's video message on this laptop. Yes, he was already dead. Er, no. Is he still watching us from somewhere? If it's not, then how did he time this message so perfectly? No, he's not. He he was already tied up. No, it looks like the video was set to play after the explosion by a wireless signal from the detonator. But why do you have to use the video message? That's the one thing I don't get. At the time, Nakito should have already been killed, which means that video was recorded in advance. Oh yeah, that's right. That's right. Besides that video, there might have been data on this lap laptop that could have been used as a clue. Laptop. With that thought in mind, I tried messing around with the laptop, but... It's no use. It's locked. There's no way I can examine this. But, if it's locked, then maybe there really is something inside. Maybe I'm overthinking this. Dude, I don't want my computer locked, but it's just like automatically that way. Like, nobody else is touching my laptop. Apparently the bombs that were stuffed on this truck were actually fireworks. Which reminds me, this truck looks like it came from the military base. Nagito must have brought it from there. Hmm, 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 hmm. Other than that, there's nothing in particular that catches my eye. I don't know what this is. I don't think that's important. This, might, this break room might be important. The break room is on the other side of the door. This is where we obtain the fire grenades. 
Anything inside? Hmm. There's nothing on the floor that looks like it's a clue. Not even trash. Okay, I think that's everything here. Usually it'll tell you, oh, you have to finish investigating if there's still something there. Okay, so let's go to... Let's just go to the military base. Ah. Damn it, this dangerous place is the reason all this messed up stuff is happening. I mean, not really, but yeah. Like, Leaving guns out of the open is totally dangerous. Seriously, they gotta take better care of these. It's easy to say that, but there's no one on this island who can do that. A huge supply of guns and other firearms are stuffed to the truck bed. Oh, I found it! Huh? What'd you find? Huh? Well, that truck bed over there has guns in it, but I also found stuff like... A survival knife! Wait, that's... Isn't that the same type of knife that was stabbed through Nakito's right hand? Which means the killer obtained the knife from here. So the killer is someone who visited the military base at least once. Wasn't that everybody? That's everyone, though. <laughs> no, not me. This is the first time I've been here. That sounds fishy. If the bombs were fake, this might be fake, too. I'll try it. <laughs> I'm not brave enough to check for myself. When I tried looking through the truck bed... It's empty. Nothing's here. When I first came here, there was something on the truck bed. Which means Sonya was telling the truth. This one. And as I suspected, the bombs disappeared. I thoroughly searched for them inside the military base, but the bombs were nowhere to be found. But did Nagito know the bombs weren't real? It's possible he thought that they were the real thing. No, never mind. He said as much as in his video message. <laughs> so, were you surprised? Seriously, think about it. Do you really think there are enough bombs to blow up an entire island? Even if there were, a guy like me would never be able to use them. And once again, I say you were able to program the computer. He knew the bombs were fake. He only did what he did to weed out the traitor. Now, was that really it? Did Nakito only do that to expose the traitor? Maybe there was a different motive behind his actions. I think we didn't even get any clues here. All right, let's go to Nagito's cabin. Clatter, clatter, clatter. Monokuma! Huh? It's oh, not. Apparently. We can't go inside things to that. I'm annoyed. There's nothing I can do. I'm gonna investigate another area. Dude, Nagito before it's summoned Monokuma. What are you gonna do? I'll go look for my Monokuma. He might open his for us. Dude, just call him. Then let me know when we can go inside. Hmm. Yeah, got it. Seriously, how did he put those bombs in his pocket? Just saying. How did he do that? Hey, buddy. <laughs> that was there when we went... Wait. A sphere with flashy ornament on it's hanging from the wall. This sphere, it's definitely it, right? So Just as I thought, it looks exactly like the spear that killed Nagito. The same whip-like cord attached to the handle. 
and there's the wheel at the end of it. So I need. Plus, it looks like one of the spheres in the wall's missing. I'm saying. <laughs> there's no mistaking it. The killer took one of the spears and used it as a weapon. As a weapon. I love my Fuyuhiko voice. Spear of Gung. Yeah, huh? Manakuma would totally come up with a lame name like that. But why did the killer use a spear and, and a knife? Man. Yeah, they could have just killed him with the knife, and it would have been easier, too. There's no way a spear like this unnecessary cord thing on that would be easy to use. Yeah, it definitely looks hard to wield. But still, they chose the spear for a reason. What is that reason? He's crazy! Sorry. I feel a little... tired. No matter how much I investigate, I don't feel any closer to the truth. That's probably why I feel this way. I'm feeling this strange feeling that I've never felt before. As if Nagito is trying to make us suffer. Even after he's died. Kinda. Well, now's not the time to think about stupid things like that. I haven't even investigated his cottage yet. It's too early to start complaining. Uh. If we investigate that place, we may be able to find some sort of clue. Alright, let's go. Monokuma! I love when he's just standing there. Oh my, you want to go inside Nagito's room too? Hinata-kun! Oh, hajime. I'm with this request. You did it for... She wants me to unlock the door. Because she really needs it for the class trial. Huh. She huh. begged me to do it while she was licking my black eye. Uh -oh. I didn't do that. No, do didn't I do do it. It. It's nah. sweet because it's made out of black beans. That's not sweet. Hey, we don't have time to mess around. Hurry up and unlock the damn door. Hi, hi. Fine, fine. I guess I have no choice. I just gotta do that, right? Now then. See, I open the door. You can freely investigate now. Nani, how do you keep turning the piano on? One second. Oh, do you keep doing that? Oh. Strawberry. No, no. I don't know how you keep doing this. I don't know how you do this. Turn your keyboard on, and I don't know how you do it. You're a talented kitty cat, that's for sure. Oh, shit, what did I miss? So Nagito was living here. What was he thinking inside this room? Very strange, random thoughts. What was he feeling as he spent his days in here? Very strange feelings. I can't even imagine. Wanting to see absolute hope? Becoming despair so he could act as a stepping stone for the rest of us? No matter how much I think about it, I just, I don't understand him. At least his room is as normal as mine is. I don't even know if he truly believed that. He was especially weird these past few days. What changed him? Maybe the clue to that is hidden here as well. Like, everyone always has these, like, super fancy rooms and, and stuff. And Hajime and Makoto just have these, like, normal... Bear! Hajime and Makoto just have these, like, normal rooms, and it's unfair. So, seeing that Nagito also has a normal room makes me feel better. A fancy looking treasure box covered in sparkling pink lights is totally standing out. Could this be. Can you let me know if you find my treasure? It's a magnificent treasure box covered in sparkling pink lights. <laughs> that treasure box. Chucky, you know about this? It's really cute. Oh, she was just reacting. This looks like Monami's stolen treasure box. If this is here, that means... 
the thief Monami talking was talking about was Nagito. But why would Nagito steal this? Why does Nagito do anything? In order to find that out, it might be good to see what's inside. Mata, is it going to be okay? It looks a little dangerous. Dude, it's a glowing, sparkling pink Sailor Moon box. It might be, but this could be some kind of clue, you know? If this wasn't important, Nagito wouldn't have stolen it. Ah, oh, yes. I turned back towards the treasure box and cautiously opened the lid. Inside, there was a notebook. This is it? Why is a notebook inside the treasure box? It's like it's something important. I took the notebook out of the treasure box and began leafing through it. It contains sloppy drawings as if they were drawn by children and entries that look like chicken strap scratch. Blue. Day one. I was able to talk to everyone for the first time today. Monokuma showed up and things turned bad. Day two. Byakuya is the leader. A lot of things happened today, so everyone's tired. What is this, a diary? It looks like it. Did Monami write these? Probably. These pictures and entries totally suit her. I kept flip flipping through the pages. Day three, day four, day five. Page after page of poorly written entries continued on in the notebook. I don't really understand, but it looks like there aren't any clues here. And right was I when I was about to give up. My hand suddenly stopped on an entry titled Day 16. We've been in the funhouse for three days. Everyone's hungry and on edge. Hajime tried to go into the final dead room today. He's probably panicking because no one believes him. Should have gone in. Should have gone in. Huh? No, no. Hajime, did something happen? It, nothing. <laughs> hey, Hajime, stop! Don't look at me, notebook! Whoa! From out of nowhere, Monami suddenly appeared and took the notebook out of my hand. Oh, I did ask you to look for my treasure box, but I never said you were allowed to peek inside! Jeez, that was close! If I'd come any later, you would have seen the inside of the notebook! I didn't. I oh, unfortunately, you are a little too late. Hi, lady. But if this notebook is here... I know. Then Nagito was the thief? Yeah! Oh, betrayal! I was betrayed by my beloved student. No, no. Hey, that notebook. It's pretty much your diary, right? Wait. The diary? It um, it, it seems that way. That's right. It's my important diary where all my maiden secrets are written. Hold on. Hey, hey, you're a liar. Oh, why do you always show up out of nowhere? And what did you just do? Lie. Monami, it's not good to lie, you know. Lie? There's no way you wrote in that notebook. After all, Monami can't even write! Huh? Oh, what are you saying? Jeez, I can write the letters easily. I can finally write the letter B. No, you can't, because you have no fingers on your hands. Bullseye! I know, because I'm the same way, too. Oh. Are, they, are, they? Huh? are you mad? Are you angry that I suppose a little weakling like you? Yay, yay! So that's what this is about. You're... You're seriously trying to crush me. Huh? What are you saying? There's no way a big brother would ever crush his little sister. <laughs> It looks like the time to settle things between us is getting closer every second. Hey, I, I don't know what you're getting so serious, but is what Monokuma said true? Hui. Uh huh? He said you didn't write that notebook. Is that true? Uh. If so, who wrote it? It Um, well, you know, how should I put it? Hold on! Damn it, 
she totally ran away again. Hmm. The same pattern as usual. Looks like it's a waste of time to try and get answers from her. Still, I really wanted to ask her about the notebook. Well, actually... It might be better that I didn't ask her. Yeah, so the only person that knew we went to... Or tried to go to the final dead room was Nanami. Um... And I guess Monokuma, if you want to be that way. But... No, no. Maybe there's something hidden under the bed. It's a, a usual place for hiding things. Yeah, like porn. <laughs> well, you should check just in case. Let me do it. Stand back, Nanami. With no expectations and without thinking, I peeked into the bed and... There is something here. It's a plastic bag from the supermarket. It looks like there's something inside. What is this? It looks like a gas mask and rubber gloves. These look like the real deal. Did you get these from the military base? A gas mask and rubber gloves? He was hiding these under his bed. What did Nagito use this stuff for? I honestly do not remember what he used those for. Hinata-kun! Hajime, was there anything else under the bed? Hmm, let's see. I peeked under the bed once again and started looking around the area where I found the supermarket bag and... Huh? There's a small piece of paper on the floor. Piece of paper made of blue aluminum? Mm. A round, thin piece of aluminum, huh? It's similar to the seals that go over jars of unopened mayonnaise. I get what you're saying, but does this mean it's just a piece of trash? <laughs> oh, who knows? It might be too soon to decide that. I remember what that is. I do, I do, I do. I do. A lot of books. In addition to the books, there's a bunch of random crap stuffed under the shelves. It might take a lot of time for us to thoroughly go through that stuff. No, no. Let's just leave it for later. Yeah, I agree. Anything in the fridge? What is it? Nice. My cottage doesn't even have a refrigerator. I wonder where he got it from. Nagito probably supplied it himself. Mm. Why would he go to the trouble of putting a refrigerator in his room? Does he really enjoy cold drinks? As I talk with Chiaki, I open the refrigerator out of curiosity. <laughs> huh. There really isn't much inside. The only thing inside the refrigerator was a brown bottle. Mm. For someone who likes cold drinks, it doesn't look like he's stopped very much. But that bottle clearly isn't a drink, right? No, it literally says Monokuma's special poison on the bottle. For poison in use only. I took the brown bottle out of the fridge and started reading the label. Exclusively made for poisoning someone to death? This, this is... Masako. Yeah, looks like it's poison. Poison? Huh? Looks like there's a warning label on the back. Let's examine it in a little more detail. But be careful with the bottle. Don't drop it. Stop it! If you worry like that, I'm gonna get nervous! I grabbed the bottle with my trembling hand and began reading the warning label on the back of the bottle. Poison made specifically for killing someone. It's Monokuma's special poison. The enchanted liquid is highly potent. It takes effect immediately. Please handle with care. Though its vo validity is low, the liquid is very dangerous when vaporized. 
In its gaseous state, it is heavier than air. It breaks down in minutes and it's susceptible to hy hydrolysis. <laughs> hydrolysis? Bah. So it is possible for you to poison someone to death without any complications. Keep this liquid secure by storing it in a cool place in a glass or plastic container away from sunlight. Joy does look like a chemical made solely for poisoning someone to death. This refrigerator must be kept here to keep the poison secure. But where did you get something like this? Anone? That question could apply to the bomb he used at the hotel too. Dude, where was he keeping it? Did you just have a bag of stuff that he brought Hola. from the octagon? Yes, yes, we already know this. The octagon inside the fun house. This poison. He must have brought it with him from there too. Maybe he has a Mary Poppins bag. <laughs> he was probably hiding them somewhere on his body during the class trial. Seriously, okay, unless the bombs are like small. He was hiding a bomb and poison during the class trial. Exactly. <sighs> Jeez, how dangerous. What would he have done if he accidentally tripped and broke the bottle? Just thinking about it scares me. No, no. Also, he already blew up the bomb he took with him at the lobby. But what about this poison? Huh? What on it? It looks like the bottle is just in half empty. Was it like this from the beginning? Or did Nagito use it? If so, where did he use it? I just remembered. I just remembered. Oh my god, I just remembered the ingenious way they used his lucky ability. Uh, another trap? <laughs> For example, maybe he was making some kind of trap using this poison before he died. If that actually exists, it'd be really bad. It could potentially kill everyone on this island. Everyone? What the hell? Nagito, are you still trying to make us suffer? Are you still trying to make us suffer even after you've died? Special poison! A shelf is a mirror that reflects a person, person's heart. Do they now? Uh, I definitely don't know much about Nagito just by looking at this. So what should we do? It'd be really difficult to look through all these piles. Mm. Oh, that doesn't mean we should ignore it, though. Mm. I'll leave it to you then, Hajime. Alright, shirk off your duties. W what? It's better if a boy goes through another boy's things. You know, there might be private stuff here. Uh huh. Well, that may be true, but. What on it? So, I'll leave this out to you. Yeah, I was shirking off your duties. I think I just got persuaded to do this without realizing it. Oh, I sighed and walked towards this shelf. One by one, I started removing the various books and items and examining each one. But even as I examined them carefully, there was still a bunch of random books and items. There's no way there's any clues here. Bum, huh? Well, that file wasn't the only one I received. Oh, why is it Haji? Why is his name wrong again? This is another one. That seal! Indeed, it's the school badge of Hope's Peak Academy. Does that have any information about our stolen memories? Unfortunately, I couldn't find any clues about that. This file doesn't contain our information, just Hajime's. Naki just said this only contained information about me, but. Is that really true? If I look at this, it should be obvious, right? And he said I was from the reserve department. 
and I had no talent whatsoever. That might be another one of his lies, too. Maybe I am talented. I opened the file I held in my hand to confirm that. Instantly, I realized something was strange. If this really only has my information, then why... Is this file so thick? As soon as I opened it, it was clear to me. Just as I thought Nagito had lied to me. What? He lied? Aside from my information, there was information about the others. Kazuichi, Fuyuhiko, Akane, Sonya... And everyone who died had pages of information about them too. The file contained information on all 16 of us. Only my information might ask. I can't believe he'd make up such a strange lie. So that means the rest of it might be a lie too? I turned the page containing my information and began reading through the content. The profile contained basic information such as the date of birth, height, weight, so forth. But there was one thing that specifically caught my eye. The words reserve course student. There was no denying it. It confirmed that I truly was a reserve course student from the reserve department. Why? Why is this the only thing that isn't a lie? Why? Why am I the only one here who's from the reserve department? Why am I? Why am I here with all the other ultimates? No, no, Hajime, did something happen? Well. I I just found a strange file. Oh. oh! Isn't that the special prize Nagito received when he cleared the final dead room? As I recall, your student profile should be in there. It's not just my profile. The profiles of everyone on this island are in here. Nagito is lying. Huh? When you say everyone, do you mean everyone? That's just basic information, but there should be profiles for all 16 of us. Can I take a look at the file? Chaki leaned against me and peered into the file.詳しいことは何も書かれてないみたいだね。詳しいこと。私たちが記憶を失ってるっていう希望が見え学園で生活してた頃の情報だよ。うん、それがないってことは。これって私たちが入学する前に書かれたプロフィールなのかもしれないね
a different reason? Oh, how should I put this? You guys have been getting all worked about that Biakia for no reason. Which means the great mystery that she thinks surrounds that Biakia doesn't exist. You're basing it on one person's cheap speculation. What do you mean? You don't have to ask me that. You know the answer just by looking through these profiles, right? Huh? My eyes turned back to the file. One by one, I started flipping through the pages and confirming the names. And suddenly, I came across a page that was filled with question marks. Every section was filled with question marks. It could barely be considered a student profile. On that page, I was only able to confirm one thing. <laughs> Ultimate imposter? <laughs> That's Biakia's true identity. True identity? He was a fake that was pretending to be the ultimate affluent progeny, Brakya Togami. A, a fake? I know, ne. The fact that his profile is filled with question marks isn't a mistake or an oversight. Surprisingly enough, that's the correct information regarding him. Doesn't he have to at least be a high school student? So then, you know, age. The ultimate imposter has no name, no permanent address, and even his age and gender is unknown. But you said he. Basically, he doesn't exist. Because he doesn't exist, he's able to exist as anyone, so you should be saying they. That's their talent. Hoo 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 hoo, though I'm not jealous of it at all. That person wasn't really Byakuya Togami? Is that why he was so much fatter compared to when he was involved in the killing school life? <laughs> yep. <laughs> his physique doesn't affect his ability to fool others at all. Real imposters are skilled like that. Then he was lying to us the whole time. But he couldn't help it. What? 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 Why couldn't he help it? Because <sighs> that was his talent. Huh? Well, having talent means you're also bound to that talent. No, it doesn't. The moment you obtain the talent, your way of life has already been chosen for you. No, it doesn't. You can't do anything else except rely on that talent. No, it doesn't. Regardless of whether you want that life or not. No, it doesn't. In that sense, compared to the other ultimates, your life be a, may be a little more liberating. The hell? Tony uh, uh, Anyway, Trouble. I'm not happy that you guys fell for a scam that I had nothing to do with. So, you so I'll tell you straight up. This revelation about the Yakia is exactly the truth. Then, what was he trying to say to me at that time? I cannot talk to others about my past. I suspect that my skeptical nature is partly to blame. Distrusting others and being distrusted in turn, for a long time my life has been a living hell. Mm. Oh, based on that context, if I had to guess... Yeah, yeah. Maybe he was just complaining that he was cursed to wander the earth as nothing more than a fraud. But, if you guys had your school memories, you never would have been betrayed in the first place! I mean, it'd be different if you were meeting him for the first time. But, since you guys went to Hope's Peak Academy, you should have already known about the ultimate imposter. So in the end, it all leads back to memory loss. <sighs> Geez, the Future Foundation sure is awful. There's no way you should ignore Monami or the traitor. Who is it? Who's the traitor? Since I'm looking at these 16 profiles, I still wouldn't know who's from the Future Foundation. Is there really someone like that? 
Let's go to Maya. Well, obviously you wouldn't know. I made the file so you guys couldn't find out. Masako. So it's just as I thought. You're the one who did it. I know The fact that there are 16 profiles in there is what's wrong. Huh? I mean, the traitor's a spy sent by the Future Foundation, not a student from Hope's Peak Academy. You... You made a fake profile for the traitor and included it in here? Say guy. Oh, it wouldn't be fun if you figured out who the traitor was so easily, right? No, no. Then... We can't use this file to figure out who the traitor is. That was true for Nakito, too. Hey, well, no. probably. Oh, my dear. It's dripping with despair, isn't it? You wasted your precious time on something that isn't a clue. Was that a wise decision? Time's up, you know. Time's up. Wait, wait. Sayonara. Excuse me for a moment. That chimed us now. That's pretty important.時間は常に減っていく一方でしょ。だから僕らは時間を大切にしないといけないんだ。時間です。最後の学級裁判は始めるので、モノクロ6にしてください。ぷぷぷ。じゃあまた後でね。また後で。The last class trial. He said that, right? He said last class trial? <gasps> mm. Yeah, I heard it too. He really did say it was the last class trial. W what do you think? Should we believe him? <laughs> Monokuma seemed anxious about the Monokuma timer earlier, right? Two more days. And he said something about the killing school's... Why am I having problems with saying killing school? <laughs> Based on the time limit, this might definitely be the last one. But I can't imagine that it's the real end. Huh? I think Monokuma's real plan might be just beyond that. His real plan? Is Monokuma still planning to make us do something? What could it be? Maybe. After putting us through all this, he's planning to kill the remaining survivors all at once. But still, it's not a good idea to think about it too much, I think. I think we should focus on the class trial that's waiting for us first. You're right. The class trial for Nakito's murder. Pretty screwed. I haven't collected my thoughts because we were so focused on this file. I still can't see who killed Nagito. Well, you don't have to worry so much. Huh? I mean, we're not fighting this alone, you know? Y you're right. You're absolutely right. We're not alone. Even if it's a mystery that can't be solved, as long as everyone cooperates and works together. Yeah. If we do that, things will turn out fine. Oh. Looks like everyone's here. Huh? Is this it? Shouldn't there be more people? Stop it, you're making me depressed. <sighs> so it's going to happen again. This cruel conflict where we must doubt our friends. <laughs> but once we're through this, we could go back, right? 
told that. But Akuma bastard said so, didn't he? He said this is a last class trial. So good. And we've been tricked every step of the way. There's no way I could believe that so easily. No, I can't Why can't you believe it? The guys who making us do this all this is the one saying it, you know? That's why I'll definitely survive. If we could really go home after we deal with this class trial. So I'll that. definitely find out who the killer is no matter what. Even if they're to pull up all the stops. <laughs> what, what the fuck? Why are you here? You haven't realized it yet? The feeling of wanting to leave the island. Thinking like that is Monokuma's trap, you know? Huh? Huh? What are you saying? There's no way Monokuma will add things here. He's planning something far worse. Ah! Last, I've tried to jinx us. Yagunzu! Damn right. Stupid rabbit is a shudder. Everyone. You mustn't run away from despair. Huh? I finally realized after losing my powers. I realized that cursing your powerlessness or your fate accomplishes nothing. The possibility may be small. But as long as there's a possibility, you must face it. In order to become someone who can be proud of yourself. So I will fight. Huh? Well, what's her deal? Uh, no. I, I don't really know, but she seems different than before. Kick, kick. Maybe she's real. She read a self help book. Not. But her eyes. She looks so determined. Oh my, she nah. What can you tell just by looking at those button eyes? Uh. Anyway, make sure you turn off Mini Morrow. It'd be annoying if you started talking during the trial. Huh. <laughs> Fun. Somehow, I understand what Monami's saying, I think. Anyway, let's go. To the last class trial. Mm. You're right. We need to fight as much as we can. No matter what hopeless truth awaits us in the end. This is the end. I kept saying those words to myself over and over within my mind. I entered Monokuma Rock. Ah. This elevator right? This will be the last time for this too, right? <laughs> I hope so. Let's worry about things after we're finished. So this evening. More importantly, we must focus on the class trial before us. So I noticed this while I was watching my... So <laughs> The killer managed to kill someone like Nagito. There's no way this is gonna go smoothly. I mean, I still can't believe one of us was able to do that. I know. Nagito was problematic in many ways, but he was also a valuable asset during trials. You're right. In fact, during the Funhouse ordeal, we were completely dependent on him, because somebody stopped me from going in. But even if he's gone, the ones who survive need to stand and fight. We have to fight. And then, the door slowly opened. This bright light greeting us. And is that the light of hope? Or the light of despair? I'm pretty sure despair probably doesn't have a light. Alright, oh wait, oh, let's get to the beginning beginning of it. Nagi. Oh well then, now that that chatterbox Nagito's gone, there's only six of you! Descend there. Enough, just fucking start this already! Oh, this is it, right? This is really the last class trial, right? Mm. 
Oh, yep, it sure is. Boop, 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 so you gotta show some enthusiasm and make you sure you give it your all. Yes. Did I tell you he said it? This is the end. <laughs> I like her fighting stands. Let's get this trial started. This is the last class trial. Let's show some enthusiasm and kill each other. Um, the fifth class trial. According to Monokuma, this is also the last class trial. The curtain is about to rise. Nagito Komaeda, the ultimate lucky student. When I first met him, I thought he was a nice guy. He came across very sociable. <sighs> but his true nature held such a demented thought process that nothing like his outward appearance. He said he believed in hope more than anything else. He said he was yearning for a powerful hope that can overcome any despair. He said he would even help despair just to prove that hope will never lose to despair. And he said he'd become a stepping stone for hope. His way of thinking was completely screwed up. But there were also times he saved us too. Someone like him was killed. That was the end of him. And I have no idea at all who did it, but... Look at all the red marks. There's no way we can end with this, this without knowing. No, I'm back, Ito. <gasps> we'll be consumed by despair. And that whole screen is almost red. That's why we absolutely have to find out. The person who finished off Nakito. The killer who murdered Nakito. In order to return from this despair alive, we need to reach the truth. And if Monokuma says this is really the last class trial, that's all the more reason we need to do this. And so, this life-threatening trial billowing with hope and despair, the last one, has begun. Yes. All right. And we're going to stop that there for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to tune in next time for the last class trial. Yeah, I'm